Welcome to Mexican football and cooking! So crazy, they're just crazy. Let's give you a short history lesson on the food we are about to eat. Tradition tells the story of a man named Juan Mendez, who used to sell tacos in a street stand, using a donkey as a transport for himself and the food. During the Mexican Revolution period, 1910 to 1921, in the Bay of Vista neighborhood. To keep the food warm, Juan had the idea of wrapping the food placed in large homemade flour tortillas, which then would be wrapped in napkins. He had a lot of success, and consumers came from all other places along the Mexican border looking for the food of the burrito, which they eventually adopted as a name for these large tacos. We see here James ordering at the Mexican food place, Santana's. What do we say, James? Gracias. Mm -hmm. you, know, you know if you hold it sideways. Mmm, mm, deliciosa. Now you get to sit here and watch me while I eat the whole thing. But in fast forward. There are many other different kinds of so-called Mexican foods that you all might be aware of. For instance, tacos, enchiladas, tostadas, even the crunch wrap supreme. Now, one of these is fake. I won't tell you which one, but I'll let you guess. But still, I'll give you the history of each one. The first taco ever made with pork, or a taco as we can, would consider it today, was made by a man named Hernan Cortez. However, it would not be likely to say that he was the one who invented the taco. Recent discovery has shown that people of the lake regions of the Valley of Mexico ate tacos filled with small fish and eventually sometimes replaced them with small live insects and ants. Enchiladas originated in Mexico. Evidence suggests that the same people who live in the lake region of the Valley of Mexico traditionally ate corn tortillas folded or rolled around small fish. This eventually pushed forward the inventing of the enchilada. 
Writing at the time of the Spanish conquistadors, Bernal Diaz del Castillo documented a feast enjoyed by European, European, uh, Europeans hosted by Hernán Cortés. The feast included fur, foods so, served in corn tortillas. However, the native, the native name for the flat cornbread was tixcali, the Spanish name for it was tortilla. In the 19th century, as Mexican cuisine was being memorialized, enchiladas were mentioned in the first Mexican cookbook, El Cocinero Mexicano, the Mexican chef. Tostadas were a completely different story than these other two, and possibly a little bit grosser. The tostada was created when tortillas went stale but were still fresh enough to eat, not wanting to waste old tortillas, which is one of the staple foods of the Mexican people, Beans, rice, meat, cheese, and vegetables were spread onto the tortillas like an open-faced taco. This invention became very popular, and people soon began to fry fresh tortillas to recreate the dish. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for... The Crunchwrap Supreme. Invented by the fast food company Taco Bell, this dish has absolutely nothing to do with Mexico. In fact, if you guessed this was a fake one, you were absolutely right. See, it was just invented to add cheese and meat and make a taco kind of thing out of tortillas. However, due to the fast food company's fattening results, it's actually way, way worse for you than a taco or a tostada. So I'd just say, avoid Taco Bell altogether, go for the healthy choice. Just as a kind of end note, the reason I chose this as the way I connect to Latino culture is just because I think about all kinds of food. I love food. And I think about the passion that chefs had to put into making all these different kinds of food that they had to put into thinking of new ideas to make it to make it possible for us today to be able to eat anything anything delicious that is anything creative like a burrito like a taco like an enchilada like a torta like a flauta it just it blows me away thinking back to all these people with all these innovations that made all these things. Gracias. Go, let's go!